Hello, everyone. Why was Stanislav Shemaev deprived of his license? There is such a lawyer in Miami, Stanislav Shemaev. Stanislav has a friend, Manas. He is also a lawyer from Miami who specializes in immigration as well. Manas has a mother. Her name is Gulmira. She used to work in Miami in a very rich Jewish family. Just imagine you have a very luxurious household, several kids, everything needs care and attention, and you invite a person to your house, to your family, in order she would help to raise your children, do your housekeeping for a certain salary. But she suddenly declares that you beat her, break her arms, torture her, and do other horrible things. Unimaginable terror. Manos becomes a witness in this case and tells how his mom was beaten up. Stanislav helps them as a lawyer, fabricates documents, juggles the facts. But there's one hitch. There are documents from Kyrgyzia, the country this woman came from, which confirms that she was beaten by her husband, not her employer. There's a statement for the police that states it was her husband who broke her arms, caused joint dislocation to her. It was him who was doing all those terrible things to her. But those three didn't care about it. They just wanted money. The more, the better. According to the American law, in this case, if it was true, the employer would be imprisoned and forced to pay several million dollars to that woman as a compensation. After that, they would divide the money between themselves. If it was $10 million, it would be $3,300,000 for each of the three who falsified the documents. Stanislav would certainly say it's not true, that it didn't happen like that, that he always focused on immigration only. However, there's a website where one can check official cases. You can visit this website too, enter the names of these people and easily find this case. And we know how he says that all the good is about him, all the bad is about his competitors. But the competitors cannot do this. They cannot fabricate the case about him that happened in 2017, 2018, 2019. We received a review of the first investigation about Stanislav that contained a screenshot from the website bar.com. It clearly showed that Stanislav's license has been suspended. You can check the dates. Both events coincide in time. Probably after the fabrication of the documents in court, a claim was filed against Stanislav and his license was suspended. At the same time, the man who was deceived by Stanislav in an immigration case was looking for some information about him, and finally he found out that his license was not valid. His moral portrait raises no questions. Just share your opinions in the comments about those three. In Miami, everyone avoids them as swindlers, especially Stanislav. It's not the only dirty case about him. There were some others. You will find out about them in other videos. I know that the Russian community will understand now what kind of a man Stanislav is, and they won't address him anymore. That is why I will translate and voice all the videos in English to inform English-speaking people about Stanislav as a real swindler, that they should not contact him for help or advice. Please share this video with other people. Share it with your friends. The more people know the truth about Stanislav Shamiev, the better. Let's protect other people from this kind of fraud.